What's good guys, it is Fakier Will here back again with another tutorial. And uh, this tutorial will be focusing on cinematics. Today we'll be learning all about cinematics, how to record them, sync them, you know, all that good stuff. If you end up enjoying the video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know, do all that cool shit. So yeah, here's a quick preview of what you guys will be learning today. I'm aware that my mic is super distorted, I don't know why it's like that, I tried fucking around with it and shit and nothing changes, so you guys are gonna have to live with it I guess. Anyways, let's get right into the basic information of cinematics. So, cinematics, they aren't needed in edit, but they are strongly recommended <laughs> since cinematics really bring the edit together and if they are used correctly they kind of act as transitions between clips and other cool bits in the edit and that and honestly that's basically it like there's nothing really much to cinematics it's kind of just it's mainly just your creativity but basically in fortnite replay mode so let's jump right in as you can tell i'm not in my account i'm an apex keys account because uh i don't have any of the skins in the sync edit montage whatever that i've started so far <laughs> So I'm just gonna use this account. I'm gonna find the first skin, which was like the dragon skin. I almost first dragon stuff like that's the name. Search dragon. Yep, that's that's the. Yep. All right. Um, so I'm just gonna search through. It's probably a legendary skin because it's a battle pass skin, I think. Wait, isn't it this dude? Yes, it was this dude. So it was stage four. I think Lauren. All right. So now we got our first skin. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. Uh, I don't think the pickaxe matters for this. Alright, so we got our pickaxe. Um, back bling. I don't think he was wearing a back bling. No, he was not. So, we're not gonna use black bling, obviously. And dances, they really don't matter. Mainly, all I gotta focus on is skin, pickaxe, maybe glider if your, uh, clip has them gliding in it. I don't know, that's up to you. Um, and gun skin usually matters. Because some people like to do, and, and I like to do sins. And by the way, uh, sins is short for cinematic, so I'm just gonna be calling them sins the entire time. Because I don't feel like saying... The whole four syllables so yeah all right yeah so he just had the knighted wrap on so i'm just gonna apply that apply to all and now we can jump into game i recommend doing battle lab because in creative uh, you, you can do most of your uh scenes in creative but you have to kind of build like the environment and i don't like wasting time like that so i'm just gonna go into battle lab all right and i just realized that um the glider does matter in this case so i'm gonna go back and give him the correct glider <laughs> all right so now i'm at the snow biome i don't know why it's so fucking loud jesus in the clip, the character is just gliding onto a wood platform, so um, honestly, I'm just gonna build a wood platform up there, and then just glide onto it. Alright, so the platform is like hanging off the mountain, so I'm gonna do something like this. Yep. Alright, I think this is good, so I'm gonna go respawn, and then glide down. I think I should be good right here. Honestly, that should be fun. I'm gonna call that one right there, and now we're gonna do the cinematic after he gets a Victoria. Obviously, he's gonna be floating in the air somewhere, so I'm just gonna go up here and jump off and see how that looks. And in this case, I cannot change the time of day, so it's gonna be nighttime in these sins, which kind of sucks, but I can't really change anything in the battle lab settings. Now that we can't. So, I'm just gonna fix it in color correction. Alright, now that we are done with this fucker, uh, now we can go into replay mode. So, let's go. Alright, so we're in replay mode. One thing that I would recommend is having a, a controller, because uh, it is extremely hard to record cinematics with keyboards, just because Fortnite doesn't have a dolly cam system, so, I don't know, it's just really hard to use a keyboard, because you have to use, like, your mouse and, like, the WASD. So, um, yeah, using controller is so much easier using, like, the analog sticks and stuff. All I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna go in gameplay mode, and I'm just gonna find the part that I want. I think it's somewhere around here. Yeah, so he's gliding in. I'm just gonna wait for when he gets close enough. So like right here and now i'm gonna go into drone attached i i use drone attached for everything except for environment for environment i use drone free all right so now we're in drone attached one thing that you notice is that it's terrible quality and that's because i'm in all those settings so what you want to do is go to your graphics quality settings and make everything epic if you have a, a pretty bad PC, because most PCs can handle all this stuff, if you can't, I would turn down post-processing first, and then anti-aliasing next. Only because those don't really make a big difference in the quality, and when you add color correction stuff, it's really it's not going to be noticeable. So, if you can do all epic, and if you physically can't, and like your, your PC like cannot run it, then just turn these down to like medium or high, or whatever you want to. Alright, so now we want to mess with the settings of the camera, so we just go to your camera icon. And we have four options. We have auto exposure, it's not like an option, focal length, aperture, and auto 
autofocus. Personally, I have autofocus on all the time. Aperture, I usually have that. Depending on if there's a gun in the sin, I would usually, okay. If there's a gun, I would go like four, 5.6, just because uh, sometimes the depth of field is too shallow that the gun is in focus or the character is in focus. In this case, I'm gonna do f 2.0 just because i want the really blurry background but i don't want to be too blurry um and then focal length unless you're doing some like crazy fov shit like this and it would be like all close up kind of like a third person view or something i don't really know what it would be like but you get the point i would never go below like 50 millimeters just because it doesn't look that good honestly <laughs> i'm gonna go 100 for this in and basically i just want to get this guy gliding onto the platform right here because that is what happens before the clip starts so what i'm gonna do is make sure it's in focus first of all it doesn't look in focus right now i don't know oh because i'm a drone free there we go there's a <laughs> that's what happens make sure you're in drone attach and for this i'm going to go into 100 i'm actually i'm gonna do 135 and at f.2 um or not f.2 f2 if the exposure is fine you don't have to really mess with the auto exposure but i usually have it off and i set it to what i would want it to be obviously you don't want your exposure to look like this like dan's edits you want to have it i would just try to match it with your clip and in my clip it's daytime so i'm gonna try to make this look like daytime so i'm just gonna make it like maybe 2.24 that looks fine honestly yeah it looks fine and now i'm just gonna zoom in to my 100 i'm gonna do 135 i'm just gonna try to find a good composition right now i do want to get the platforms in frame but also if it's too wide like this it's so obvious that it's fake so basically your goal right now is to make it look like this is the actual like replay file of that game i mean personally i like to think that way this could be good but i feel like he's too high i'm actually gonna wait i'm actually gonna go into all right so i'm gonna slow it down to 0.5 and i'm just gonna wait for him to get a little bit closer so like right there and now i can go into 0.1 uh and and point 10 is the slowest speed you can go in replay mode so i recommend doing that just because in the end you'll have more frames in uh, after effects it's just easier to work with personally so yeah i'm gonna get a shot of him coming down but i don't want to get this like campsite in my shot so i'm just gonna do it from this angle but yet again there's literally nothing up here and the last thing you want is an empty composition so and it would look kind of terrible like this so i need to have something in that frame other than just the character so i'm gonna do an angle like this and i'm just going to um i'm gonna have this I, I always recommend thinking out what you want to do in your shot before actually recording. So what I do is I kind of, I keep on a still frame and then I do the motion I want to do. So in this set, I want to do this kind of motion. I want to go down while moving backwards. So something like this. I think that'll look good. So I'm going to wait for him to get a little bit closer, like there. And now I'm going to record. Actually, I'm going to go a bit back, actually. I went to two. And now I'm going to record. What I'm going to do is make sure it's at 0.10. Make sure all my camera settings are Gucci. Aperture, good. Actually, I'm going to change my aperture to uh, to one. Just because I don't want it to be that blurry. But also, this clearly looks fake right here. And right now, this composition isn't the best. So I'm just going to try to zoom in and make it seem like it is actually good composition. <laughs> so like right now, I personally think this is fine. You get you have the green trees in the background, the red maroony skin, the the snowy mountains, and the platform right here. So personally, I think this is gonna be fine. So I'm gonna do the same motion. I'm going to come down and kind of rotate like this. So in the actual sin, I can do a zoom out transition, which that will be in the next video or the video after that. All right, so let's record. I'm just gonna press Y. I'm on an Xbox controller, so I'm just gonna press Y and then uh, record. And most likely, I'm not gonna get this on first try, so I'm just gonna keep recording until I get it how I like. I'm gonna record that by just pressing all F10 because I have um video shadow play. Alright, I'm gonna get a different angle, so I'm gonna get an angle from like right here. Alright, let's see what we can do. Alright, I'm gonna get the ending cinematic, so I'm just gonna go back in gameplay just so it's easier to find. Alright, so I'm gonna zoom back in, go to the part where he falls off. So it's like right here. And now I'm just gonna go in point ten speed again. I'm gonna go to drone attach again. And I'm simply just going to get a sin of him falling down. I obviously don't want that wood platform in there. So I'm going to go towards out of frame right there. And now I'm going to try to get some cool camera movement. Basically, I'm just going to move to the right and close to him to the left and kind of far away from him. So I'm kind of like rotating him into frame. So I'm going to start with him out of frame, actually, a little bit up. And then it's going to rotate down. Yeah, that should be fine. So now that we're done with those cinematics, we can jump back into After Effects. All right, so now that we are back in After Effects, we're gonna double click on the Project tab in the empty space below your folders, and then we're gonna select all of our cinematics and then hit Import. 
Now we can drag these into the sins folder. All right, so I'm just gonna get the first sin that I record, which is this one, and I'm gonna place it in front of this first clip because these two sins are gonna be placed in front of the first clip. So I'm just gonna open up the song by double clicking L or tapping L, my bad. And now I'm just gonna create markers of where I want the two sins to be. All right, so I'm just gonna isolate the beginning of the clip or no, the beginning before the clip starts. And I'm just gonna unsolo that and we're gonna figure out where I want these sins to be. All right, so that's pretty easy. So I'm gonna do it right when this guy says G Hughes. So right, right there. I'm gonna make a marker. Remember, just click this little button right here. There you go. And now I'm gonna make the very initial marker. So I'm just gonna go back a little bit. I don't think I already found it. Right here. I think we have the duration set for our sins. So I'm just gonna play through and see if they're correct. All right, so now I'm gonna unsolo the first cinematic and make sure your audio is off, by the way, too. So I'm just gonna isolate this part and I'm just gonna take off the part where I want the second cinematic to be. So simply just go here, press N, and then simply go to the frame before the marker starts and then hit Alt and bracket, and then there you go. All right, so now let's open up timer map. So all you gotta do is Control Alt T again. Personally, I put on frame blend on all my cinematics just because it makes it look uh, cleaner. So I'm just gonna go to the frame blend little square and then double click it so there's the first option which is kind of for like really fast motion and then there's this one that just blends all together for mostly the slow parts but it also blends the fast parts together too um all right so now we're gonna find where we want our sin to start so i'm just gonna hold shift and drag the time over see where i want to start picture it starts right starts right around here so i'm gonna cut it right there and i'm gonna I'm just gonna save it just because i don't want to lose any of my progress and now i'm gonna hit o to go to the very last frame and i'm gonna find where i want this to end I want to end like right around here just because it kind of makes no sense because there's no platform here all right so now we have our two keyframes i'm just gonna drag the last keyframe to the frame after the clip ends so there's one frame over and then delete the excess frames there should be one right here all right so let's zoom in a bit let's first see what it looks like without any easing looks pretty bad right anyway so we're gonna fix that up all you gotta do is highlight your keyframes hit f9 easy to ease them now we're gonna open up the graph editor which you guys know is right there and we're gonna mess with the graph so all you gotta do is isolate your timeline by just pressing the squiggly button next to one i don't know what the actual name of it is and just make sure your, your timeline is selected and now we've isolated it so the basic graph of what a cinematic should look like is basically just like this with the initial one going up and maybe to the right a little bit and then the last one going down maybe to the left a little bit and this is what it looks like with Simply just that. It'll look a lot better. So right off the bat, you can kind of tell that this, he's, he's not even in the frame right now. And this would be a pretty bad cinematic if I didn't go back and make it so when he was in frame. So I'm going to go back like three seconds. And then I'm going to end it a little bit before how I originally ended it. So I'm going to bring it back to like there. And I'm going to bring that keyframe over again. And then I'm going to re-fix the graph. So drag this down, maybe make it to the left a little bit or to the right. And then drag this up and to the left a little bit. And now we'll see what this looks like. You have to make sure that your character is usually either following the rule of thirds, which is um, having it in either the left or right portion of your composition. I, I personally either have it in the middle for the entire time or I have or I follow the rule of thirds and have it in either side of the composition but right now this is basically centered the entire time if you want to check we can go to this little tab and hit proportional grid and then we can see that he's basically staying in the middle of the entire time which is good so now we're going to go back and we're going to play this and see what it looks like all right, so it's a little slower here and personally I don't like when it gets that slow so I'm just going to edit it to where it's not that slow well, I'm going to make this a little bit longer actually I'm just going to extend this out to the left a little bit basically if you think about it a basic timeline is just going straight up in a slow linear path and what we're doing is we're editing the time to go fast slow and then fast again and that's basically what syncing has come to these days and that's basically what people have found out to be the most like smooth the most uh, clean looking and just like more aesthetically pleasing so basically you just want to follow the same fast slow fast graph for basically all your cinematics in some sins to switch it up a bit you can go fast slow slow fast which basically looks like this you just drag the um last keyframe to the middle it doesn't have to be that perfect just drag it to the middle and then copy the first keyframe go to the last frame of the clip and then duplicate it and then you just drag these two up and then have the top slow which basically looks kind of like a reverse effect in a way it looks pretty cool if you execute it well. It's probably gonna look like terrible on this one because I haven't changed any of the values, but this is what it looks like. And I'll say that looks pretty cool. 
and this is fine but the, the glide is a little bit popped out and he's not perfectly centered so what i'm gonna do is a simple um little trick i'm just gonna put black bars over this part just because i know that there's gonna be black bars on this part obviously i'm just gonna get an adjustment layer and um cut off this part this is not going the actual edit i'm just doing it for reference and then add their motion tile effect make the height i do 75 personally so let's go like that and now i can mess with the position uh however i want i just can't make it visible beyond the black bars so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select the clip hit p to open up position and i'm just gonna drag this down so it's more centered so like right there looks perfect to me and now we can watch it back this looks good i feel like there's not enough movement in it so i'm just gonna go back even more Actually, I'm just gonna save this part for the second cinematic. So I'm just gonna back to the regular sin that I was doing before. I'm gonna delete this and then bring this over here just because I don't think it looks good with the cinematic. And that's okay, like you're not always gonna experiment on something and then like it and then use it in your montage. And that happens a lot to me and other editors, so, and every editor actually, it happens to everyone. Also, I'm sorry I sound sick. I'm a little bit congested because I have allergies. This looks fine but I want it to be longer and a little bit faster. Be a little bit more harsh and I think we're good on to go into the next clip. Something like this should work. All right, yeah, so this looks fine. Uh, now we're gonna go on to the second cinematic. Press B and then N right before the clip starts. D -Hughes, you did this one. D -Hughes. I'm gonna get this part to do. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the project and I'm gonna get the second cinematic, which is this one. I got sucker in and then turn off the sound and then we're gonna find the part that I want to start at. Make sure you have your frame blending on too. I'm just gonna scan through again. Pretty sure it starts like right. I don't like this composition a lot better just because there's more color in it. There's more greens. There's a little bit of blues back there. And this is kind of just maroon and white and blue. So this would be a lot better, I think. Um, all right, so we're gonna find the beginning, which is right here, 2036. And then I'm gonna go to the end and let me cut this first of all. Find the end, which is gonna be right. I'm gonna go here, just because I don't wanna get the, this part in frame just to show that this is fake. All right, so I'm gonna go like right here. And I'm gonna move that frame over one. F9 in your keyboard, go to graph header, isolate it. And now we can fuck with this. All right, so I'm gonna try the little reverse effect I did in the last clip that didn't really work out. So let's go like this, drag these up a lot, be a little bit more than halfway, and then extend these ones out a bit. Let's see how this looks. Honestly, if I, if I put in the black bars, it should look perfect. I just need to put this down. A little bit just to be centered, it's like right there. Alright, so you did this one. This one, this you did this one. This you did this one. Be messed with the initial keyframes and make this a little bit tilted in, a little bit tilted in too. And let's delete that last keyframe as well, which it should be right here. There we go. All right, let's see what our sins look like so far. All right, this looks fine. Now we can go on to the second clip. So I'll see you guys back in Fortnite. Never mind, no, we cannot. We have to do the sin after the victory. Yeah. So we're gonna do we're gonna do the same process before. So I'm just gonna play it through. All right, I'm just gonna end it right here. I, I don't want the sin to be long because it's literally just him falling. So drag the sucker in. I'm just gonna put it below this just so I have the comp on a downward scale. So now we're gonna open this up, Control Alt T, and let's timer up the sucker. So there are a few beats here. I'm gonna add effects there. I'm not gonna do any time mapping effects here just because I wanna keep this part simple. So I'm gonna turn off sound, turn on frame blend, and then let's find a part one to start. I'm gonna start right when I start moving the camera. So right there. I'm gonna go to the end. Cut it off, and then far more to end. So I'm gonna go like right. Where am I gonna leave the frames? Like right there. Move that frame over one, and then we could easy ease them. F9. Open your graph editor, isolate it, and then I'm gonna try initially just a harsh sync, something like this. See how it looks. And honestly, this looks really bad right now because there's not really much in the composition. It's really just the wall, the sky, and the character. And they kind of all blend together. It's kind of all the same colors. It's dark, it's dark, that's dark. Which right now is pretty bad, but when we go into effects and all that stuff, this gives you opportunities to be more creative with the effects. Don't get no
I'm just gonna fix up the sink a little bit, then we should be good to move on. And we're gonna add some black bars to this again. All right, that's what the clip looks like with black bars. Sure, it's smooth, but there's nothing to it, which is fine right now, but when we get into effects and stuff, it'll look a lot better, trust me. All right, so now we can move on to the next clip. Before we go into Fortnite, I'm just gonna figure out uh, what sins to use and how much to use because this clip is very spaced out you can tell so I'm just gonna find them all right so I'm gonna have one sin here I'm gonna have one sin here and then I'm gonna have a sin to cover this up and you're probably thinking like I'm gonna have three sins for one skin no I'm gonna have a skin of the character that this guy kills which is I don't know I don't know what skin it is but um whatever that skin I'm gonna have a sin of him running down there and then I'm gonna have a sin of him running up the stairs and then just an overall environmental sin. So let's go jump into Fortnite and let's do that. All right, we're back in Fortnite. Now let's get our skin. There's the Skull Ranger. There's that cutie. Uh, never mind, guys. Uh, NorCal Riot wants to play Fortnite with me. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, this is the next day. It's 2.40 in the morning. And uh, yeah, let's continue. So we're on the Skull Ranger part. And... This clip, she is just walking up a metal ramp. So I'm gonna get a sin of her running with a gun. So I'm just gonna have a sin of her running and then a sin of her walking up the metal ramp. I just need a gun for her to hold. So I'm gonna do right here just cause the sun is right here and I'm gonna get a camera angle from back here. All right, that should be good. Now I'm gonna get a sin of her walking up the metal ramp. So I'm gonna do it like right around here. Alright, so I'm just gonna find the part where she is running, so I'm guessing it's around here. And obviously there's a bug to where the sun goes behind the storm, you can't even see it, so I guess I can't get the sun in the shot. Alright, I'm gonna go to 0.1 speed, you know the vibes. Um, make sure everything is on epic. And then I'm gonna pull up my controller. Alright, so I'm gonna get a sin that starts pretty far behind her, and then moves in while she's moving forward, I think it'll be cool. And then I'm gonna go to 1.4 aperture. Alright, it's glitching really bad, so I'm gonna... Stop recording and then I will come back when I'm finished recording the sins. Alright, so I'm done recording the sins. I'm just gonna select them and import all of them. Alright, guys, after a long time of perfecting the cinematic, this is what I have come up with. It looks very raw right now, and that's only because there's no effects, there's no transition, there's no color correction. So it'll look pretty bad. <laughs> but uh, here it is. Jesus, you did this one. Yeah, I know it's not the best, but we will make up for that with the color correction effects and all that other stuff. And just to clarify, these cinematics are like what my actual cinematics would look like in a regular montage or edit, but they're not edited. So not all of your cinematics are going to look good uh, just right off the bat, like just raw. You kind of like have to redeem yourself in the effects process and color correction and all that stuff like that. So yeah, that will conclude this video. I know it was a long one. I'm sorry. But for the people who want to learn how to do cinematics, here you go. You can use this tutorial. But yeah, the next tutorial will be sound effects. And after that, we can go into, I think, effects. So yeah, stay tuned, guys.